What is up, families of a graduate? I hope you guys are doing okay. I know life has been different and such. I want to let you guys know, we as a church, uh, we have always had a big uh, push in May to celebrate our graduates, and uh, this year is going to be no different. Uh, well, it will, and it won't. So I just want to give you the details. I figured instead of words in an email, a little video may be more helpful. So uh, let me pull up my details here. Uh, May 31st, it's a Sunday night. We are going to do an outdoor celebration for you guys. We'll still exercise social distancing and encourage everybody to wear masks and be a part and all that kind of stuff, but we want to do something. And so it's actually not just going to be for our church. I've reached out to other youth pastors that I know. I'm actually going to call some of the schools. Um, I know some of the schools have put a date later, later on that those may or may not happen. Everything is up in the air, and obviously I'm... Speaking of parents of graduates, so you have all known that tension. And so so what we're going to do is we're going to gather together at our church uh, May 31st, 7 o'clock. It'll be in the courtyard. Um, I'm going to have some of our folks that are going to be here to serve, to guide everybody where to go and all that kind of stuff. And basically the format we're going to do is we're going to just invite mom and dads to come on up on stage. Um, if you're a single dad, single mom, or grandma or grandpa helping raise your grandson or granddaughter, um, whoever is the one who has just been the leader of these particular uh, graduates, um, both of you guys, mom and dads or whoever, can come up on stage. Um, we're going to have it to where the mic's on a stand. No, you're not going to touch it. We'll have one person adjust it, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're not even going to put out chairs. You're going to have to bring your own lawn chair because people don't want to touch other things and all that. We're going to keep it very bare bones, very simplistic, out in the courtyard, May 31st, 7 o'clock. You're going to come on up. You are going to introduce your son or daughter. They're going to be wearing their cap and gown. You're going to introduce them. We're all going to go crazy and cheer for them as they walk up on stage. And you hug them, give them kisses, and all that kind of stuff. And then the goal would be for you to speak a blessing over your son or daughter. That's our desire. And that's the main thrust of really our, our graduate lunch that we've done is to create space and opportunity for you parents to speak a blessing over your son or daughter. Let them know how proud of you are of them. Let them know uh, just the things that you have seen, the character that have, has come out in them, um, the joyful things. And um, we just want you to have an opportunity just to speak a blessing over them. And so um, that's our desire and that's our hope. And so it depends on how many people are going to come. That's how it's going to go. Now, if we get a lot more people that are going to come, um, we've got a contingency plan for that as well. We're still going to express social distancing. Even if it rains, we've got the sanctuary space set aside. I don't think we're going to need it. We're going to know if it's going to rain days in advance. But the goal is to keep it outside and uh, much more safe and contingent. Or not, I don't know if contingent is the right word, but much more safe for everybody with the way things are going. Um, but if there is a ton of people, nonetheless, you as parents will come up on stage and you will introduce your son or daughter. They're going to come on up. We're going to cheer. You'll say a couple of fun, cool things that you love and appreciate about them. And at the end of that time, we will then break up. and just, Well, not break up, but we'll, at the end of the time, say, okay, parents, we want you to take the next five to ten minutes where you are, and you as mom and dads or grandma and grandpas or other siblings or other family come, you may take that space and speak a blessing over your son or daughter at that particular time. We just want to try to make it as special as we can. So just giving you an idea of the couple of ways that we're going to be doing this. On May 31st, out in the courtyard at 7 o'clock, we're inviting other youth pastors and other churches to be a part of it if they so choose. I'm actually going to be calling some of the high schools to see if they can let all their graduates know. You don't have to be a member of our church. The only parameter is you just have to be a graduate, and you can come. Um, and we're going to send a link out so that way people can sign up. Um, part of me is insanely, insanely, insanely excited. And the other part of me is scared to death, um, of how many people that may come. And so, uh, even in the back of my mind, I'm like, do we need to do multiple places? Like does burger stadium, do we need to rent that out? I have no idea. All, all our desire is, is to simply say, well done parents and well done to your graduates. That, that's our only desire and only hope. This is a free event. Uh, that's our only expectation is to say thank you for what you both have done as parents and grandparents, as graduates, um, and for us to pray over you and for us to bless you as well. And so um, just be, please be open-handed and flexible with things as we figure them out. But just please, if you could, um, let me know if you will be there. Um, again, we're going to send a link out for you just to register so we know who's coming. Um, 
and that that'll help us prepare because if we have hundreds of students that want to come which is great praise god we'll need to figure out another outdoor venue that's a little bigger which we'll we'll work with it or if we need to do multiple nights it's all good the whole point is creating space um, to celebrate what God has done. And so if you have any questions, let me know. Most of you have my cell phones. Um, a lot of you are going to have questions on masks and all that kind of stuff. We'll be giving those details out. We are still going to be using the guidelines that us as a church are using to operate when we meet in our homes for church on Sunday mornings. And so just know that we will be as completely safe as humanly possible and do everything we need to. That's why we're not putting out chairs. You can bring your own lawn chair we're not going to have you touch the mic. Like We're going to do all that we can on our end to create the space because we want to eliminate any opportunities for you guys to say, oh, they're doing that, therefore we're not coming. So we're, we want to eliminate all of those obstacles uh, to make it as easy for you. And so I appreciate you guys. Again, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, our heart is just to uh, let you guys know how much we care for you, and we're going to work within the parameters we have to. And so thank you guys. Appreciate you very much.